let's see what's going on. Who's this reading for? Hi guys, I'm Molly. I'm a Claire Audient Intuitive Empath. Sagittarius, this one's for you. I'm channeling right now, so anything I tell you, Saggy, will be part of your reading. Uh, ooh, Saggy. I'm just going to shuffle the cards and see what story comes out. I have... What is that? If you want to talk, Barry, <laughs> it's easy if you try. Saying Barry instead of very. Ooh. You can do it if you try. If you want to talk, Barry, it's easy if you try. Saying Barry instead of very. You can do it if you try. Now it's berry, berry this, and it's berry, berry that. Are you berry, berry silly? Are you berry, berry that? Are you berry, berry funny? It's the thing we like to do. Getting berry good at berry talk is what you gotta do. Um baba, 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 um baba. If you wanna talk berry, <laughs> it makes it easy if you try. Saying Barry instead of very, you can do it if you try. If you want to talk Barry, it's easy if you try. Okay. Um baba 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 um baba. The crow. Um baba um baba um baba um baba. Yes. If you want to talk, Barry. Okay, Sagittarius. That is a strawberry shortcake song from when I was a little girl. Uh, I have no idea what it's even called. Um baba um baba um baba um baba um baba. Okay. So, if you want to talk Barry, Saggy, somebody may be speaking a different language. Uh, somebody may be a teacher. Makes it easy if you try. Okay, so now I see, so when I was a little girl, I had this Strawberry Shortcake picture album, and I... I'm totally picturing it uh, on my Winnie the Pooh record player uh, that said Disco Pooh in the front and it lit up. Uh, it had two light bulbs in it. And that Strawberry Shortcake record, I can see it in my mind's eye. So we might have some like vinyl records maybe coming into play or something like that. Somebody may like vinyl records. Um baba 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 um baba. Cool. All right. So Sagittarius, the universe has opened the cosmic curtains on you. So what that means is the divine is shielding you from negativity and showing you a new path. So what that means is the divine has closed the curtain on something for you because it was too negative, and they were like, "No way, that's not for you." And now you have to open the curtains, and uh, and they're showing you a new path. Um, baba, um, baba, um, baba, um, baba. Okay, you may be learning something. Uh, you may be using your intuition. Uh, if you want to talk, Barry, it's easy if you try. Saying Barry instead of very, <laughs> you can do it if you try. Okay, so somebody may be learning about uh, psychic abilities, intuition. Uh, they may know an indigo child. They may know somebody uh, who was born with some sort of psychic abilities. All right. This person does have a, a, a beautiful aura. Okay, they may have spiritual gifts, something like that. Okay. Reward! Oh, there's a reward coming for you, Saggy. 
Oh, you get to break free of the birdcage and fly away to somewhere cool. Fun. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's see. Uh, Saggy, that song may mean something to you. I'll find it. I'll put it in uh, the comments. My readings are interactive. If I talk about anything that there's a video for on YouTube, I'll put it in the comments. Uh, there will be some more messages for you there. If you... Uh, Make sure you hit subscribe though before you click any of the con uh, any of the links so you can find your way back. There is a rabbit hole to fall down in YouTube for sure. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, somebody has made a wish. They have decided. Uh, they are. It may be you, Sagittarius. I keep looking at this, and the purple matches the purple, and she's looking over here at Sagittarius. So, Sag, you may have made a wish, and your wish may be coming true right now. There was some sort of uh, nasty masculine energy that the feminine was around. It uh, was not good for her, okay? We have two people showing up. They are the same, but they are opposites, okay? Uh, their tails are are intertwining and they're very good at berry talk okay so this may be um you may be um you may speak with somebody who speaks a different language you could uh be very good at berry talk is what you gotta do um, baba, um, baba, um, baba, um, baba. we're gonna clarify all of these Right now, we have uh, isolation, curiosity, author, and death. So we have somebody showing up. They are in isolation. They are curious about something. There's something they really have their eye on. They're watching, and they want to keep their eye on. The author is here. There is some sort of careful communication that uh, they want to make with somebody and then here's the death card. Death, this particular death card for me, Sagittarius, is poof. There has been a change of mind. There, there they are. Um baba, um baba, um baba, um baba. The crow again. He's singing um baba. And, uh, all right. So, Saggy, I'm running out of memory. I got to pause, delete something, and then I'll start up again. So, I'll see you in a second. Hey, guys. Okay, I'm back. All right, so next we have knock. Knock is my card for request, ask, examine, institute, organize, or initiate. So, hmm. Uh, we're going to have to clarify this for sure. Somebody's looking into something, though. They may tell you they've looked into something. They may tell you they've gone to therapy or something like that. All right. And then finally, we have Spoon showing up with Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine Energy. The Spoon is swirling energies. It's kissing, making out, fooling around, caress, embrace, pet, allure, and praise. So there's definitely some sexual chemistry showing up here. All right. Okay, let's clarify. What are we gonna clarify with? Okay, I think I'm gonna use my little tarot. You guys, I have this little word tarot deck right here in this pouch. It's a full tarot deck, it's just words though. Uh, it does have some uh, pretty specific definitions that we're going to go by and just see what this tarot deck wants you to know, Saggy. So uh, let's see. Let's see what's happening. Uh, this is a general reading, so everything won't resonate, but take what does and leave the rest. All right. So what does Wish have to say to Sagittarius with the tarot? Wish for Saggy. Okay, Six of Cups. Okay, so somebody may be wishing for a happy house. They may be wishing, they may be feeling like nostalgic childhood memories uh, with this wish. All right. 
Uh, that's the nostalgic childhood memories. That's my strawberry shortcake uh, picture record for, for me, for sure, with uh, the childhood memories. So uh, that might be something. What does danger have to show Sagittarius? This toxic masculine energy that somebody may be dealing with. Now let's remember a masculine energy is just that. It doesn't mean it's a man. It means it's a masculine energy. Okay. We have the sun showing up. Marriage, happiness, and bright prospects. All right. So uh, somebody may be breaking up, uh, like getting a divorce. Uh, somebody may be... Uh, Recognizing some form of toxicity that will bring happiness to the marriage. They may need to get very good at berry talk. Okay. All right. What does opposites want to say to Sagittarius? These two that are different but the same. The three of cups. All right. Celebrations and bright happenings. So these two uh, may be celebrating something. They may be looking forward to something. Uh, something. Uh, somebody may ask someone out on a date. All right, what does isolation, curiosity, author, and death have to show Sagittarius? The devil, jealousy or trouble, able to break the chains that are binding you or holding you back. All right. So somebody may have been in isolation. They may be with some sort of devil energy. Now, devil energy uh, is not like the devil. It's just a depiction of yucky energy. What's the grossest thing you can think of? It's the devil. So that's why we have the devil imagery. So somebody may have been in isolation. They may have uh, been feeling some feelings of jealousy or feeling bad or something like that. Uh, they had some sort of curiosity. Uh, they may have gone to some sort of therapy or asked for some sort of help or had their mind cleared up on something that made them able to break the chains that bound them to this devil energy, this jealousy, this uh, troubled feeling, whatever it was. Uh, they were able to start speaking berry talk. Okay. And now they're um ba ba um ba ba um ba ba um ba ba. Okay, and now they want to sing along. Okay. So somebody may have changed their mind about something. They may have thought something was uh, not good, and now they've changed their mind, and they're like, hey, I'm on board, something like that. All right. What does knock have to say for Sagittarius? Knock for Sagittarius. The Six of Wands. Okay, yeah. Letter or news coming. Victory news. Okay, so you're going to get some sort of message. Somebody's going to knock on somebody's door, Saggy. And you're going to get uh, some information coming in, news coming in, good news coming in. All right. Fantastic. This may even be like a tax refund. Uh this could be from a big institution, and you get this uh, letter coming in. Okay, something like that, too. All right, and what does uh, Spoon have to show Sagittarius? Remember this, it's the divine feminine, divine masculine energy showing up. They're swirling together because they're getting it on. There's some sort of sexual chemistry for sure. What's going on with that for Saggy? The Two of Wands, a short journey or a movement near water. All right, fantastic. Somebody's uh, maybe at a crossroads right now. They may be thinking about going on some sort of journey. It won't take very long for them to get there. Uh, so maybe a short plane ride or a short drive or something like that. 
uh, they may have to go past water to get to uh, wherever they're going. All right. So what does the universe have to tell Sagittarius to end this? Um, baba, um, baba, um, baba, um, baba. All right. Saggy, what does the universe want to tell Sagittarius? I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. All right. So, Saggy, somebody may be changing their mind. They may choose, uh, they may, uh, now know how to, they now be, may be very good at berry talk. Okay, so they may have learned something. All right. Something that may have seemed like a foreign language to them. And in learning that now, they are going to choose again. They choose love. All right, Saggy. There is your reading for today, your messages for today. I'll find that Strawberry Shortcake song and put it in the comments. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe before you click the link, though, so you can find your way back. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys, if you want to cruise my Etsy shop, there's a link right in the description. If you like how I read, please hit like uh, and subscribe. I'd appreciate a like. It helps me. It helps my channel. Uh, and if you hit subscribe, it's totally free. We're just learning fun life lessons in a cool and neat way. All right, Saggy, take care. Love ya. Mm -hmm.